Gabby and welcome back to my channel and to a new speed build video and this time I will show you how I built this big generation home and this house also belongs to a huge collaboration it is called back to basics and the host for this collab is Asmisa and you will find down below in the information box all the information about this collab I will add all the social media links to her channel and Instagram and there will also be a playlist where all the participants videos speed build videos will be so you can watch them all and yes I hope you will like it there's a safe file a big safe file with all three base game worlds so it is Oasis Springs and also New Crest and Willow Creek so you will have three worlds and we build different kind of builds some family homes, community lots and I hope you will like them and you will um, play in this uh, save file. So in the my house, well the idea behind it was to build this time a little bit more bigger because I, I really like to build tiny homes or small homes but this time I wanted to make it a little bit big. So I decided to do a generation family home and I looked up some inspiration on Pinterest and then I found some some cute suburban style family homes and I started to build it. For me it was very difficult to build a huge house and also to use only base games so I was a little bit frustrated during this process because it was very out of my comfort zone to build in this size and also to to be not able to use the favorite objects so <laughs> it was a little bit difficult for me but I like the result of it. Also, in the end I really like it and as you saw I started with a basic shape yeah, like always and then I added here and there some some more rooms or some bumps here and there and then I started with the landscaping and I wanted to make it a little bit in the autumn vibe so I so I use for the landscaping some some flowers in the orange color swatch so it looks mere autumnal and then I found this car in the deeper catalog also in the orange color swatch and I, I added it there and then in the backyard there's some stuff to do for the kids and there's also a barbecue and a sitting place and also some gardening pots and then I started to build a little pond in the backyard as well because I thought maybe I can't do so much decoration with the base game but I could maybe do something interesting with the terrain too because we uh, got this uh, building options um, for the base game as well also the pawn tool and then we are now in the inside of the house in the floor plan and in the end there are very very a lot of rooms there's uh, a kitchen with a small dining space and also a dining room i think four bathrooms two in the ground floor and two in the first floor and there's also a guest bedroom slash hobby room and there's uh, a master bedroom the living room and the office and then in the first floor is uh, also um i think three kids rooms and a master bedroom and as i said it is the generation home so in the ground floor there will be the bedroom for the grandparents and now we are in the kitchen i really like it i use the industrial base game kitchen cabinets and counters and i think now after some years we have a lot of decoration items in the base game so i was very happy and um, how this kitchen turned out and there's also a small dining space maybe for the kids before they go to school they can eat there and now we are in the first bathroom it is very very small and, and cute and i think it it is very comfy with the blue tiles and i think the bathroom in this house are not too special but they look comfy and they are very spacious for a big 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 family and some have a bathtub some have a shower and i also added in one of the um one of the bathroom this training pot for a toddler because in this family is also a toddler and they have a little baby so there will be also a nursery room upstairs i actually don't build 
too often nursery rooms because we don't have too ma many baby furniture but this time I wanted to add one and yes we are now in a living room and I I kept for this living room a very natural color scheme with some beige and cream colors and also um, some wood furniture for the TV unit and then in some wall pieces I added this soft green color so I, I really like this combination and then the second bathroom this is like the first bathroom very simple the same tiles and a blue color scheme and then I added some details in yellow like the towels and some candles and it is a little bit more bigger and there's a bathtub and a huge sink um, in the other side of the bathroom and I try to clutter it up a little bit with the objects that we have in the base game and I think it turns out very very cute in the end and as I say there's also a big dining room and I added this big table that we got um, recently I think with a update so it was a, like a celebration date and there's also a bar where you can drink some cocktails in this dining room as well and um, after that we are I think moving to this guest bathroom slash hobby room oh no we are now in the office sorry <laughs> and yeah the office what can i say about this office i took for the um desk also this cool table and this industrial look and then i added this mini bookshelf and i think it looks very cool in this combination it, look, it looks like a custom content furniture and yeah and there's also this bonsai tree plant <laughs> where you can train your flower arrangement skill and then we are here in this guest bedroom slash hobby room and i added also a, a easel so you can paint there as well and some sport stuff so you can train there your skills and also sleep maybe so it's very huge i think in the end eight sims could live there actually more if you play with some mods and yes i think this house is very very cool for a generation gameplay and then we are here in the first bedroom for the grandparents it is very very huge and i added in front of the window some a sitting situation where i added some kitchen shelves on the ground and then i moved in some how they call this ottomans ottomans sitting thingings <laughs> sorry i always forgot to uh, forget to look up the english vocabulary for this furniture pieces but I think you will know what I what I mean and I use for this bedroom a red color scheme so it looks looks very cool and romantic with a red color behind the bed so I found it very cool then after that we are now in the first floor and the first bathroom and this time I, I wanted to make it more more lift in with more clutter and in the bathrooms in the first floor are in the orange and blue color scheme so it is a little bit more different but actually it is the same so different colors but the same combination of furniture pieces and then uh, here in the first floor a huge teens room I think this is my favorite room I really like it I could imagine to live there in my teen years where I was a emo girl <laughs> so it is very perfect for for my teen times and i really like it i put together two single beds so it looks like it is a double bed and because it has the perfect color swatch with the um black blankets and the red pillow so i decided to add some red colored items as well so it looks a little bit more powerful with the combination and with the black items as well so and there's also a how do you call this a makeup table as well with the star mirror and then i added in this base game wardrobe this mirror with a tool i think it looks very cool together and there's also a very small tv space in this teens room as well maybe they can play playstation or something like that 
And then the second kids room, this time it's for a boy maybe, who likes, um, who likes to do some sport activities. I think there are in each room some personality that you can see. So and then we are here right now in the nursery that I um, said in the beginning. And I really like it. It's very cute. I wish we had more items for nursery. I think this is missing in The Sims 4. Maybe, maybe we will get something in the future. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I hope. I hope this will be change in the in The Sims 5. Maybe. So, and it is very cute. And I use for this time for this room a color a, a green color scheme. And yeah, this is cute. A nursery room and here we are in the last kids room i found this illustration a wallpaper and it fits perfectly in this nook in this space from the kids room and then i find it very cool to divide it like the, like the colors from the this illustration so the one side is uh, more yellowish color scheme and the other one is more in the blue and orange color scheme and so with this um, illustration i use it like my inspiration for this room so i picked up a lot of furniture in, in orange and dark blue and i really like it it's very colorful and fun to see and now to the last room it is the master bedroom so this time after this colorful kids room i wanted to make a more calm looking bedroom so i found this bed with the cool light blue color swatch with this floral pattern on the blanket and then i looked up some furniture which have the same color scheme like this um commode thing <laughs> and then i added some some clutter items like this shoe rack and i found this and i found this um treasure box and then i added some plants and also a bookshelf and some paintings and i think this is all what i have to say i hope you like this house and as i said you will find down below all the information about it you will find the save file link and also the playlist with all the speed builds from this collab and if you like this house and the video don't forget to leave a thumb up don't forget to subscribe and to push the notification bell and then i will see you next time stay safe and healthy bye bye Thank you.